when it is at the highest offices in the land, act in concert and conspiracy, some would say, in this manner, then we are fracturing our constitution and endangering our very fragile young democracy. Mrs. Prasad Bissessa criticized the way in which today's events occurred in the parliament, but noted that her side felt it was necessary in order to uncover the truth. I have been in parliament for over 27 years now, and I have never seen it fit to bring such a motion of what people call impeachment of the president. I have never done it before. We have not done it. And it brings me no joy, and I want to make this point, you know, this is not about woman to woman, you know, because there's some who are trying to make it out as an issue as women versus women. This is an issue of high constitutional importance about the offices of the highest offices in the land. The opposition leader also hinted at another motion to be filed in the parliament, this time against the prime minister. But Mrs. Basad Bisasa did not give details on what that motion would entail. The opposition will stand and remain in defense of the people of Trinidad and Tobago, in defense of their rights. We will continue to call for transparency and accountability. And today, in October, we announce the beginning of an October revolution in Trinidad and Tobago to defend the rights of citizens and the democracy of Trinidad and Tobago. Mrs. Basad Bissessa assured that the opposition will do all within its power to ensure that persons are held accountable and justice is served. Ayanna Carter for TTT News.